Hey everybody, my name is Gadget Trish from Green is the New Lean. Today is January 27th, 2021. It's a Wednesday. And I just wanted to give you an update about my quarantine weight gain and just how I'm doing in my journey and what are we doing moving forward. So Saturday that just passed, I missed a workout on the seven minute fitness challenge. And I was just like, hmm, I could lie and act like I was working out or I could start all over. So I chose to start all over. It was, I don't remember what day it was. I think I was on day 13 or 14 and on the fitness challenge and maybe day four or five being gluten free. And Truth be told, I was frustrated that I had to start all over. I'm losing weight, I'm feeling good, but I did have a knee injury that was making the workouts difficult. And if you guys look at the, the workouts that I had on my Facebook, they might be perceived as easy for some, but if you're like myself and the quarantine weight has been unkind to you, where you're experiencing um, inflammation in your joints, you can't do simple things anymore, the workouts are really tailored towards people that are having some type of joint issues because you were in quarantine too long, like myself. So I was just like, you know what? I'm having trouble with my right knee. I'm gonna start all over, you know, February 1st. We could just start everything over, the gluten-free, the workouts, everything. So like an idiot, instead of just saying, oh, okay, well, you can't work out for a couple of days. No, my stupid behind goes to the supermarket and get a bunch of junk food. It's not clear what food led to me being sick, or maybe it was the combination. Um, this is not the first time I've had an issue like going from eating clean to eating process and, and not having difficulties. I've had this happen to me once or twice before where you just jump from one diet to the next and then I you get sick. But the point is I got really, really, really sick. Like, you know, vomiting, um, uh, what else I had issues with, dizziness. It was just a mess. So for about a day and a half, I just laid down, I did ginger shots, I um, I rested, I like on Monday, I rested for like almost 20 hours. Like I just, I just slept. And when I woke up on Tuesday, I noticed that I was feeling better with my joints. My knees wasn't hurting. Um, I came up with a ginger shot recipe that I will share with you guys on the next post. Um, but I just had a moment to reset everything. And then it dawns on me, even when you make mistakes, there's lessons to be learned in those mistakes. Like in my case, I learned that I needed, I really needed to rest. I have two channels. Uh, Green is the New Lean is the one you're watching now, but I also have another channel called Gadget Trish. I have a freelance job, and of course I have a family. And I just never had when I started the challenge, just nothing was ready. I was just like, I'm just gonna do it. I need this quarantine weight off. I can't stand that I can't get in my clothes anymore. Nothing was ready at any level. And I was like legitly stressed out. So with that being said, hi, we're starting the challenge over February 1st, which falls on a Monday. Um, I will definitely be posting to you guys a lot more. You know, I apologize for not getting updates to you guys sooner. I'm still trying to figure out balancing all these things out. You know, when I was doing YouTube last year, I, you know, it was a little bit easier because I worked less or not at all. Uh, but now, you know, life is kind of like back to normal, which is frantic and annoying. But, you know, my, my, go as I take a couple of days off from working out and stuff is just to just plan things out a lot better so that I could be better for myself, better for you guys, just better. All right, guys, so that's my update. Please make sure you check out my separate post on the ginger shot. 
how I made it. The ginger shot will be incorporated probably for the all 100 days, uh, mainly because I do have inflammation like, wow, like really bad. I will also leave in the description bar the benef um, benefits of ginger for inflammation and arthritis and stuff. I'm not a doctor, I'm not even an expert, but I do try to find holistic ways to try to heal myself. So this might be helpful to you. And also remember, I don't have any medications I'm taking, so um, there are no conflicts, but make sure that this is not a conflict with your lifestyle, just in case you're on medication. So, all right guys, I have to go. I have a lot going on today, including going to the supermarket to pick up some food, but I will see you guys very, very, very soon. And on that babbling note, Gadget Trish is out. <laughs> Think vegan. Wow, I'm still a little dizzy. What, what did I eat? <laughs> Bye.